the thing about Balkan coffee, whether you call it Bosnian coffee or Turkish coffee, it's without a doubt, it has more caffeine in it than you would need to kill a racehorse. I'm almost convinced of that. And this afternoon, we've been looking at somebody making Bosnian or Turkish coffee from scratch. It's, um, it's, it's a skill. I mean, I don't think you could do it, could you? Absolutely not. No, you need, you need some expertise, a bit of passion and some care. And it, it's wonderful. You said, look at how many spoons of coffee are going in there. You seem quite shocked. Shocked is putting it mildly. Um, there's a lot of caffeine in that coffee, but it tastes wonderful. And it was served in e- genuine Ethiopian cups, which is quite special, actually. So, brilliant. It also needs the coffee to... I, I, one thing I was surprised about was the coffee being um, put on the heat without any water. And, and, and even you said, what, 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 what's all that about? I still can't really understand whether that was to get the aroma. What's your take on it? Well, I think you, you genuinely roast the coffee, and I, I think it is. It's to, um, to to get the the aroma and the the sort of coffee hot, and then you add the water. It, it's it's how coffee should be made. It's just that we're so used to in the UK of um, freeze boiled granules, sling some boiling water at it, and we call that coffee. This is completely different. It took a long time to make. I'm sometimes wondering whether whether all of that is just mumbo jumbo or whether the time that has been taken today to make coffee that five people drank in in very small cups and they only drank two cups of it whether it's all worth it or whether the Dolce, Dolce Gusto machine or the Nescaf or the quick coffee is is the best bet what do you think I think both are good however if you think of wellness uh, to take time out to, to focus on making the coffee forget the world forget all those the hassles, just focus on making the coffee. It's quite zen or tao or call it what you want. It, it's, it's a very good thing to, to do something extremely well and you can certainly taste it. I thought the, the after experience sat at the table was, you know, people saying, well, you should drink it with two hands, take this t- small mug with two hands. And then, of course, afterwards, um, turning the coffee. What's it? Draining the coffee granules and reading the future, of which your future seems quite bright and dandy. Um, it, it, it reminds me somewhat of a, of a, is it the Chinese or the Japanese tea ceremony? I think it's the Japanese ter- tea ceremony, and I've seen that, and I'm a... I'm a big fan of that. I think we're far too busy, we don't appreciate, we, we don't necessarily observe, and why not? Why not spend the time with friends or just spoil yourself and make good coffee and enjoy it? And as I say, the fact it was served in real Ethiopian coffee cups, we were talking about the, 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 the Coptic faith or the faith around here, and it's wonderful to enjoy the coffee as part of a a wider dialogue or conversation about life. Just enjoy life, and why not make things special? 